welcome back to another vlog i am getting ready to go get some coffee and then we are going to go to the grocery store i need to get stuff for the boys lunches and just more like fridge items we still have um a pretty decent amount in the freezer our freezer is stuff to be honest so i couldn't fit anything else in there even if i wanted to um but i do need to just mostly get fridge stuff and um like some produce and things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and do that it is so cold outside it's sunny but it's super windy and it's cold i'm so ready for the spring and the warm weather it is officially spring it doesn't feel like it i just keep thinking a couple more weeks and we're gonna like push through and get the warm weather but thank you for joining today's video i'm so happy you guys are here let's just hang out for the day run some errands get our groceries the mailman is driving with the mail truck door like wide open <laughs> and if you hear my voice going out throughout this video i am not sick uh you guys know it was just my 33rd birthday a week ago so St. Patty's weekend I actually went to Chicago celebrated my birthday and Saturday I did go out for some drinks and this is why my voice sounds like this I don't go out very often but whenever I do doesn't matter how much I drink this happens to me every single time so I am not sick I feel great I'm just I have the alcohol voice that's what I always call it I don't know why this happens every time even if I have like two drinks I still sound like this I don't know if it's from talking loud because you know obviously when you're in a bar you're like yelling over music I don't know but every time I ever go out this always happens so I'm not sick this is just from my birthday celebration Okay, I'm back home, you guys. I went to Aldi, as you can see. I was on a very, very tight budget this week. I only wanted to spend $100. And you guys know I've talked about it before. I'm not a huge fan of Aldi. I only really like their produce and um, like some other items. I'm not a fan of their meat products or anything like that. But I knew I was on a very strict, tight budget for this week. And then being a single mom, only having um, the income that I do right now, I have to stick to a budget. So $100 is my budget. I ended up spending 106. So I went $6 over, but I knew if I went to like Walmart or Hy-Vee where I typically shop, I love Hy-Vee. I knew there was no way I was gonna get a decent amount of food for $100. So I did go to Aldi. I got everything in the house. Now I need to just get everything out and then I'll show you guys what I bought for myself. I have three boys and I do pack lunches for two of them every single day, so I always need lunch stuff and snacks. We go through lunch items and snack items like crazy. So this is everything that I got for $106. We needed definitely a lot of produce and like I said, mostly lunch items. I feel like I could have got so much more, but... It is what it is. I know I probably wouldn't even got all of this for $100 if I would have went to like Hy-Vee, but since I didn't really need meat, this works out okay. Uh, so starting off over here, I got myself this Philly cheesesteak calzone. I've had these once before a long time ago and I was like, oh, that can be my lunch for myself. These uh, Aldi Lunchables, I got two ham and two turkey. These are just mostly for Samir. He's the only one that eats that type of thing. Some more goldfish for the boys. I think these were like $3.87 for the bag. I got this ranch, avocado ranch dressing for myself to try. The boys some fruit snacks along with some crackers. They love to just snack on those. I got some cookie dough too so we can make cookies uh, after dinner one of these nights this week. 
along with some more stevia for myself for my coffees. I got some bagels. Snack wise, I got some Nutter Butters and some chocolate chip muffins. Some corn on the cob. We love corn on the cob. It's almost grilling season. I'm excited. I got this honey turkey breast. Uh, I got this to make me some wraps. I have um, some protein wraps, so I'm going to make me some turkey wraps. Some more corn dogs. The boys, uh, Take and Samir, have been loving taking corn dogs to lunch for school. You guys will have to let me know. Give me some tips. I feel like I'm making the same thing over and over, but you go, no, those two are like very picky when it comes to lunch foods. But I want to like make them hot stuff. So like what I do with these, you know, I warm them up and then I wrap them really tight in tin foil. They're eating it, but it's like, what can I do to keep their food hot? Like I want to make them like nuggets, little pizzas, things like that. I want to give them a better variety of food and give them more of a hot lunch but I just don't know how to keep it hot. So if you guys have any tips, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I got this dill dip to eat with some carrots and broccoli. It was only 99 cents, so that's why I got this. They had dill and I think the other one, I wanna say it was spinach. I'm, don't, I'm not 100% sure if it was spinach, but it was dill and one other kind. Uh, I got them some apple juices, a half a gallon of milk. I got some iced coffee for myself. Meat-wise, the only meat I got was this whole chicken. I think this was like six bucks. And then I got some ground turkey. Like I said, I already have meats left over from my last grocery haul in my freezer, so I didn't need a lot. I got some salsa. This is my favorite salsa from Aldi. Some eggs, two different cookies. These are so freaking good. I bought these for the boys when um, they went to my mom's this past weekend. They loved them and Lake and asked mom, please get some more. So I got those and then chocolate chip cookies, of course. They actually eat these. You guys know in my last grocery haul, I said that they are very picky about like generic chocolate chip cookies for some reason. They only like the Walmart brand. Uh, but I got them Aldi and they liked them. So I know that they'll eat those. Those will be for lunches. I got this ready to bake pizza dough. I'm gonna make um, a chicken alfredo pizza. So that's what I got this dough for. I was like, ooh, perfect. Uh, some mushrooms, these were only 79 cents, along with some shredded lettuce. I got a pineapple to cut up. You guys know these are my favorite chips. They're just the blue corn tortilla. They had Doritos on sale for $3.50 a bag, so I got those for the boys. Got some grapes, some bananas, along with some green beans. Yum, I love fresh green beans. And then we got some broccoli along with some carrots. This whole bag was 99 cents. So what I like about these, I can cut these in sticks to make them nice and thin. I'm actually gonna probably do that after I'm done filming this. That'll be my snack. I got some tomatoes and then some apples. So that was everything that I got for this week. This is just a week's worth of stuff, you guys. This will get us through the rest of the week. And like I said, I already have um, other pantry stuff in my freezer is pretty full. This is just what we needed for our lunches and like produce wise. That is gonna sum up today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got at Aldi this week for my grocery shopping. $100, well, 106 technically. Um, wasn't bad, I feel like I got a decent amount. Um, but next week will probably be when I'll do shopping for like more meats. And I did realize I didn't get like a lot to drink. So I didn't buy bottles of water because I've been just trying to cut back on them because I feel like the boys are opening them and they're not drinking all of them. And then there's like a million water bottles. I have my countertop water machine that I drink out of because all day you guys know I'm drinking water, refilling my cup. And the boys, they've been using that as well. So I figured that's a way to cut costs on money as well as not buying the water bottles because I feel like half the time I'm dumping the water into plants because the kids are opening a bunch of them. They're taking like three drinks. And I feel like we're just wasting the water. So I did not buy bottled water. Uh, we love water here, so I don't really need to buy too much of anything else to drink. I make some lemonade for the boys when they want it. Um, and I'll even make tea once in a while. So if you were wondering why I didn't have water, I wanted to just say that. I did it on purpose. And plus, I don't like Aldi's water. I don't like the way it tastes. Uh, but that was everything that we got. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. I would love to have you here. Check out some of my other videos. I do plan to have a cooking video coming up 
within the next week. It will be episode two. I know some of you have said like, oh, start a cooking channel. I don't know if I'm there yet. That's a lot of commitment. But for now, I think I'm going to just do maybe one cooking video every two weeks or something like that. So I'm doing it as like a series. So I did episode one. Episode two will be dropped next within the next week. So until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are.